Hey everyone, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. Um, today I'm going to do a an ATC, and this is to go with um, the Art Joy of Sharing, and it's the ATC a day for 2022. And the background that I'm using is the embossed. Now, this is done with an embossing folder. I've had this for quite a while in my stash. I actually have a bunch of them. Um, what I did one day is I sat here with my embossing folder and I just started embossing pieces of paper. So I have a bunch of those. I've chosen this one today. Now I'm going to try to do a double take. I'm going to use the embossed paper, but I also want to do some embossing um, on the paper as well. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try this marker and let's see how this works. We're going to go ahead and emboss this. What I want to emboss, I'm not using the whole thing. I will be cutting it down to ATC size, but I want to emboss it first. So what I'm going to do, hopefully there's enough glue in this. I'm just going to, I don't need it all done. I don't see any more coming out. Man. I can't see it. I don't know if it's there or not. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, yeah, I don't see that. Let me try a different one. I've got another one here. Hold on. Let's see if this one... Oh, this one's been well used. Yeah, this one's a little bit more. All right. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to emboss these clouds that are already have been embossed with the actual embossing folder. And we're going to go from here and see if this works for me. So give me a minute. Oops, wrong end. That's how that got all bent up like that. I don't know if this Versa ink glue is going to work or not. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of, this is Recollections Glacier, Glacier? Yeah, Glacier. I'm going to use just a touch of this. And what I'm going to do with it, I want just a touch. Some of these didn't get any on it, but um, because what I want to do, that's the blue, and I don't care if these get mixed up. Um, and I want this white. That's why I didn't really dump it all on. I just want to kind of use a little bit of it. So I'm going to use this white for the rest. Now, let's see if this glue works out of these pens. Those pens are old. I'm going to have to get myself a new one. But let's see what happens. Hey, guess what? It worked. It worked. Yay, it worked. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time. So what I want to do is let's go ahead and end. heat these up. Sorry about the noise. There we go. This part, I think, is the cool part because you actually get to see the results of what you just did, which I think is really neat. Like I said, some of these aren't done all the way because I wasn't sure about the pen. That's okay. If I wanted to be perfect with them, I could go back in and do the same exact thing over again. But... I kind of like them. Oops, this one didn't get done. Sorry. Hold on. I like these just the way they are. See how it brought those uh, clouds out? It really brought, brought them out so we can use them. This one I didn't do, but that's fine. We can have clouds in the background that aren't quite as blue. So let me go ahead and get my... Um, cutting cutter out and I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you what I do. When I do mixes like this, this has got a lot of white but some blue in it. I have these little extra jars and I just put it in these extra jars. It just, 
you know, that way I have it. If I want to do that combo again, it's already mixed up for me. So, so that's what I do. I'll just take it and throw it in here. And now I know that if I want something with a little white and a tiny touch of blue, or I can add more blue to it. All right, so what I have here is I have my ATC. I have some Bray Reese Glossy Dimension. This is in what color? Ocean Green. Um, I'm going to use that with a stencil, maybe. We'll see how that goes. I've got some watercolor here. These are um, Art by Marlene's. Um, I took them out of their original tins and just put them together here. So I'm going to use that, a little bit of that. I've got some die cuts. Of course, I have my normal um, black pens and my white pens. And I'm just going to go ahead and play. So I hope you guys enjoy. everyone so I am done um, I just showed you that last part because this piece of paper the that I embossed all it is is just a this one's actually thicker than the one I used um, it's a real light paper so I wanted to have a little bit of sturdiness to it so I did put this on the back and I will write on the back what it is and what you know what I'm doing it for and that kind of thing and what it says is make time for and basically the beach and some sun and you know make time to relax and make time to enjoy 
your life and that's that's a huge thing um, so here we go here's my ATC I did emboss it in two different ways I embossed it with the embossing folder which you can't see now um, you can see it here and then I also used embossing powder on it so I hope you guys have enjoyed this don't forget to check out in the description box below all the other artists that are included in this hop and check out how what they did with their ATCs I think it's going to be very interesting all right guys thanks so much I will see you next time and take care bye